What's going on? Um, Limitless, this is me. Um, me, Rogue Kage. Now, I'm showing you how I do. Now, I, I don't do my weddings on my phone anymore. On my thumbnails, actually. I, I, before, I, still, I did my weddings on my computer in the game. I don't use my phone anymore for weddings. So, yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you, um, if you have a, a computer, I would suggest you use that for your thumbnails. Because this is what I use now. But I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, this, the the background. This is what you first start off. This is what I first start off with. Is this right here. Starting off with that, I'll, I'll get this. Because I opened the image. And I got that. First thing I'll do is I'll add another image. Which would be my character. So I have to decide on which character is the what if going to be about. Now, I will go into the font that I use. I have a bunch of Naruto ones. I also have this manga and anime one. Yes, it has. But this is what I just, I use. <clears throat> so, anyways, yes. Um. Let's see. What, what video should I? I mean, I'm trying to figure out what type of example to give you as a, you know. For the So, you know, you kind of have to go through renders. I did try with this one. Um, with um, with the font that I'm gonna currently use. Um, let's see. See, um, that's the thing about when you make as many. As I make in a day, which is actually a lot. Um, you gotta constantly go to find new, new pick PNG, PNGs, JPEGs, all that, just to find, you know, the right one. Oh, see, like this. <clears throat> see now, I also change it. Is the thing you gotta figure out which one you want. And how it's gonna look. I use now. I use Pixel R E. Um, the Pixel R X is actually really hard for me to use.
It's not. It's, it's really hard to do this in our recording. It's real easy. Some of, it's just still hard when I'm doing this. Um, normally um, by myself, but when I'm recording, it's even harder because I got a lot more pressure. Uh, let me. I figured out what type of render. What what type of render I want? I want to find a good one. This is my Tachi section right here. I got this one. I think I might use this one. Just decided. <clears throat> you see, I don't need this the, this Naruto one no longer. I'll just use the the Itachi one. So, um, see, I'll do it like this. And then I'll go ahead and add text. Double click that. I'll go ahead and go to my fonts, which I'll tell you what to do. I'll send you, um, and you download a font on your computer, you'll download it as a zip. Now, I use, um, what is, what is, I'll tell you what I find when I start and finish the thumbnail. I'll show you what I use to undo the to undo the zip on the font. Anyways, I do a train Itachi, um, train by Itachi. So it's gonna do trained first, and he, and then Itachi because the um by is gonna be smaller than the rest. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. Um, anyways, you're gonna get on, he he go head on, and get into this. Now, Itachi's main color scheme is red and black. So you want to probably do like a red, maybe go darker a little bit, and hit them up with the black. Now you'll definitely want it to be black on top and red at the bottom for this reason, for a reason that I'm going to show you now. Once you get into format, you you want to go to your format and hit bold. And first, before you go ahead and hit bold, um, before you go back to the format, you'll want to get your outline to either, since you, I'm doing Itachi's color scheme, which is red and black, you want to have the outline white. But the shadow black. No, scoop that up. Then you gotta go to fill and gradient. You want to see what I do now? Is I move this to the middle, get that, and add it right here to the end, and you get this. It's exactly what I did for uh, Uchiha Naruto. See, this is going to go right here anyway. So, you can get that like that before I move the Itachi. So, then you'll want to go here and add another text box. Then you want to do buy. You want to um, make sure it's put you put, if you um well you don't have to do buy in that um, this is actually just me for the thumbnail bold this one too I'm gonna bold it and do the same thing that I did for these outline it's gonna be white shadow is gonna be black. Yes, you do have to make the opacity the um you want to make sure the blur is zero 
It'll do that sometimes. Or now for me, it did this, and you'll want to make sure the opacity is a hundred, so where you can fully see the, see it. It's mine is running a little bit slow at the moment. I'm sorry about that. It's probably because I'm recording. Anyways, yes. So you you want to zoom out. You gotta make sure you get this right. Now that you got that done, you'll want to come back here and hit enter, go into gradient two, gradient again. You could do black at the top and red, but and you could do whatever you want. Sometimes I do it like that, but at the at the moment it's not really necessary. So now you got this. So now that you're done with that, you'll want to go to Itachi, move him over. Or um, this, you'll definitely want to. Um, once you're done, you'll want to merge the layers, or make Itachi smaller, most likely. All right, you want to make sure that Itachi that you can see the Itachi. Now sometimes you might have to switch out PNGs, but this one you really don't. So now that you got your color, um, All right, so now that we've gotten that, you'll want to I started to make thumbnails on there, but it that that wasn't even that wasn't it. So I decided to move on to my computer. any type of splatter right here so now that I'm done with that I'll go ahead and um, I basically finish with the part of this the, that pretty thing that I use in my thumbnails anyway I, I'm currently actually currently banned from Izukage's server because I got hacked with the Discord Nitro hack. Eliminus, so he, he, um, you'll have to go to Izukage's channel and join his server through that. I'm only on his on on his in his server on one other account, so you got to keep that one safe. But um, yeah. Now you. Don't want your flame. 
But you don't want them to be red. Or not red, necessarily. You want it to be the color scheme, the secondary color. Not in another color. I've actually, I've actually only done green in another color with the Joker thumbnail, and I haven't even tried to do it with my new style yet. <clears throat> but so far, so we're looking. So far, as we're looking so good. So far, we're doing good. Now I, I use this. Also, by the way, you do, do want your sometimes I'll say seven nineteen, but it's not really seven nineteen. You'll want it seven width one twelve eighty and height seven twenty. Now here I'll go screen. I'll go ahead and hit um go to my settings on this one. Go to blend and screen. Now blue mean if you see blue on this, this means. This is let's go ahead time and move on to get another border. Now the background is more for yeah, like that of a background but with the border is what you incorporated server that I sent you. I believe some of these are in there. If not, I'll add them there so that you I most likely have to add them there for you. But yes, you'll want that to be below the pink, below the picture of Itachi or whatever character, but but um above the um the letters or the word. Now see with Itachi is in between, and then there's that. It's like that. So you also want to go here, hue saturation. I use color lookup, but because it's already, you know, damn, if it, it do be, it, it be taking me twenty minutes to make a thumbnail. Then I don't feel like Free type, and you want to go around this one all the way. Like this off. And most, yeah, this is what I'm doing.
may seem slow to you, but it's not really that slow. Um, like the frame rate isn't messing up because I'm recording. I I don't do like screen recordings for my my YouTube video. Like what you guys see is a background on my what is. That's not what I I don't screen record that. I I download the videos, blurt it out. So also so I don't also get copyrighted. But yeah, I blurt it out. And I did that. Now that it is a background. So you see now that you're done with this. Get the effect and you want to do the exact same thing that you did with the abstract. You want it to be above this. You want to be above this but below the picture. Now you also want to be on the same thing that we just that we were just using. And you'll want to change it to the colors to match the color scheme. And this is how it looks so far. Now we can you I use the X's sometimes. I don't use the X's in all my thumbnails because sometimes it'll be a little bit overkill. But yeah. Now we're currently waiting for it to load. It doesn't normally take this long. I I don't actually I'm I'm literally currently using my school computer for this. You could use your school computer. Because this only takes every thumbnail, but you also gotta take in the fact about the PF, the render packs and all this. You can go search up for render packs online. I recommend that you go if this says don't use Mega, um, up here not at the back when you start touching it because you'll end up moving something around I actually make this mistakes a lot of times And now flip it vertical and flip it then flip it horizontal. Or sometimes below it, so you'll want to go. Well, actually, you'll go above it. So if you click, if you were to click something at the very bottom, it'll be above it, and you'll find you'll try and grab it, and it'll be hard to. Now I use these little um things so like it's, it makes it look like it's in almost all of my thumbnails. Now with the new style. I don't think now this one is actually optional so 
one is actually optional, which is the X's. I use those sometimes. Be with to it. Yeah. Anyway, once you're done, you if you want the eggs, if you're gonna use it, the if you don't, then you're already done. But if you do, you want to go to that. If you do want to use the. Egg. Sometimes. Now you you could flip this horizontal and then stretch it out like this all the way to make sure that it's um it matches the, it's the same size as almost everything. Go go to adjustments. You can use hue and saturation now. If you're gonna change the color with hue and saturation, you wanna press this colorize. To adjustment. And then go to color lookup. You'll definitely want it to be black. Now make sure that you're on an X and not on any other. Everything, because you're always on the X. Now you don't never want your outlines to be 10 unless you want a real beefy outline. You go like below ten or like five to five to zero or somewhere in there. Well, zero is obviously zero, but you don't want it somewhere in between that or five to eight, zero to eight. Now you got your X's up there, and you're ready to save it. Now, when you save it, see this is you gotta make sure. Um, if you're gonna do it like. The way I am, it's gonna. It's probably the size will be the same. I'm not sure, but the width and height has to be these two. It has to be this width and height that you see right here. It has. To... Now you don't want to save it. Now, sometimes YouTube, what if YouTubers, as what if YouTubers will make two, I make two thumbnails. One is for, like, if I'm doing a series and then a movie or sometimes I'll do the same thumbnail for the series and for the movie. But yeah, the series and the movie. Now, as you can see in here, it looks really good. It does. I'm not, okay. It does. It looks really good. And as you can see, I've already done this. Now this one is the better of the two, so I'm gonna, 
You can uh, if you have two of them, two of the same thumbnails. Like if if Naruto was trained by Itachi, something like that, then you could do it like that. to your um you know or the um Google download thing part of it so I probably have to update that but, and also I have a portable hard drive to hold a bunch of thumbnails See, trained by Itachi, I can make this the movie thumbnail and make you know make this the series thumbnail, it's an old thumbnail. But I'm not really going to use this, so I'll use this now. Here are some other examples you know, trained by Kushina. Um, Kilo was old dick. I actually used reused the background and everything, and just got rid of the lightning. I used the same thing for this one, it's just I redid it. Now I'll put the I'll put the link to the fonts and everything. This was actually my first attempt with using this font was this this one right there. There's a Kryptonian Naruto because I'll redo my Kryptonian Naruto series. There's Naruto Uchiha. This one. There's this one, which is the same as the Kilua one, it's just different with the different PNG and words and no lightning effects. You have this. Now, yes, sometimes you want to use one fire effect, or sometimes you want to use two. But yes, it's Young Sage, which is when Naruto learns Sage mode during the tuning uh, during that one month time skip. The back in time one, I recently just recently remade this thumbnail because it's actually the currently ongoing series. Because I have, I just realized that I need to start dedicating myself to the series ends. The ser my series that I've already posted instead of continuously do restarting and starting new series. You got Shinobi, No Kami, Naruto. This is what if Naruto was a god of Shinobi. Like before the academy and everything. The Flash Naruto. I actually didn't use the new style with this, but you know, I'm just giving this examples. Now, this is actually how I came up with the style that I use now. But I just added some extra things to it. I started with this. I was just, just I was low key just experimenting while doing this, and bam, came up with that. And this is Biakuya Kuchiki. Biakuya Kuchiki. What if um, thumbnail? And this is it with the with the flames, and this is it without it. Like, see, sometimes the flames make it work better. Um, Sosuke Aizen. If you were to go to class promotion, you will see that I've made this thumbnail before, and I re I just redid it. And, oh, not redid it. I just added everything that I missed with it and did that. You see, like this and this. I don't. Um, when I use this, this is somewhat the style that I use. But I, if I figure out how to incorporate, you know, this type of style into you know this font and everything. Then I'll make a tutorial on that, but at the moment, this is what I got, and that's it. I'll see you later.